Goodness gracious, this is taking me forever to film a video. Hey everyone, it's 10 weeks since you've seen me. Last time you've seen me, I was 22 weeks along, and now I am 32 weeks. I am getting to the end of my pregnancy, and there's lots to update you on. One of the biggest symptoms I have is shortness of breath. I have tried to film this video probably half a dozen times already, and I keep stopping because I just can't catch my breath. And this is probably going to happen a few more times, but I'm just going to go with it. I'm not starting over it. This is going to be the vlog, so just bear with me. Um, yeah, a lot has happened. I haven't made an update since I was 22 weeks, and now I'm 32. We are at the tail end, and um, it's everything's been going very smoothly. Um, as far as the pregnancy goes, um, as you know, I haven't had to deal with any of the morning sickness, nausea, sick to my stomach kind of symptoms. That's been great. As I'm getting to this point, I am getting a lot more sore and uncomfortable, but I would take that any day over, yeah, being sick to my stomach. Um, the reason why I think I've also been more sore is I've been really chasing after our daughter lately. Um, about a few weeks ago, she had a traumatic dental incident where she knocked her tooth forward and went straight up like a Lamborghini door. And they had, and she broke the bone in her jaw. So um, she's barely two years old. They had to put the tooth, the tooth back into place with the bone so that the bone would heal. And basically she was not allowed to bump it. She was only on pureed foods. She couldn't have a bottle or a sippy cup. She was just to be washed like a hawk. And if you have a two-year-old or nieces or nephews or baby cousins, you know that to keep a two-year-old still and not moving is like a the hardest job. So my movements have been a lot more spastic trying to keep her from running on furniture and climbing and dancing around that uh, it's really taken a toll I think on how I'm feeling physically. Um, as far as her she's doing so much better it's been about three weeks now and we just got word that her tooth will get to stay. Um, when her tooth got pushed back in place by the dentist uh, to heal the broken bone, we were told that the tooth was just a placeholder for the broken bone, and once the bone had healed, the tooth would probably need to be extracted. That the tooth would probably die, and um, yeah, the prognosis for it was not that good. Well, we just went back on Thursday, and the dentist was in total disbelief and said that we didn't have to go back for three more months, the tooth would fall out on its own. It's majorly forward, it's majorly crooked, but she doesn't have to have a gap in her mouth for the next four or five years so that we are very happy about um, just as a backstory me and my husband were both born with underbites he actually had his upper and lower jaw broken and wired shut um, he had braces I toyed around with getting headgear as a child but we never did for myself um, so yeah teeth were always an issue to us when we started talking about having children and when she was born and her teeth came in perfectly straight with the most beautiful smile we felt like we won the lottery so to have her go through this incident where her poor front tooth was knocked out like that um that was really difficult but she's doing better she's on the mend i'm doing better because i can let her be a normal kid again um to a certain extent i'm not chasing after her as much i'm giving her a bit more freedom um so yeah physically i've been a lot more sore i also only have you know, several more weeks left, and I think that's just, I'm going to be sore, and that's power for the course, I'm going to have another baby, and things are getting tight, and I've had a lot of Braxton Hicks um, this past week. My stomach goes lopsided hard with th these two big, um, yeah, hard balls, kind of like, they always said if you didn't know what a Braxton Hicks contraction was, that if you were to flex your bicep and feel that hard bulge inside your muscle, that that's um, what a Braxton Hicks um, contraction feels like, that you can feel those two hard spots. Um, so whenever that happens, um, it also contracts over my bladder and I get this sharp pain in my bladder that I have to pee, and then as soon as the contraction ends, um, I feel fine again. So I've been dealing with a lot of those, I've been dealing with a lot of shortness of breath. I filmed this vlog so many times I don't know if I already said that, so if I did already say that I have shortness of breath, sorry. Um, but yeah, I have a shortness of breath. Um, compared to my last pregnancy, I am definitely a lot smaller. I started showing really early with this pregnancy, which is to be expected with your second ch child, but then it just halted and I seemed to not grow and I just was staying small, small, small. 
um, and never really had that feeling of that I just like popped overnight um, like I did with Autumn. I was comparing my 32 week photos with her to this one and yeah definitely a lot smaller. Um, this baby sits a little bit lower um, but it moves around so much so it depends on the day. Sometimes I feel like you know, the baby's right up in my ribs, and then sometimes I feel like I'm having to lift my pants up because it's so low. So it really just kind of changes. Um, I started getting that wonderful lightning pain um, in, my cr in my crotch, TMI. But I don't know if people have ever used the term lightning crotch. I've heard it on other YouTube videos, but yes, just feels like the stabbing pain when I walk or run sometimes. Um, I just had that once, but I remember that starting with Autumn probably in the last month of pregnancy, not the last two months of pregnancy. Same with Braxton Hicks. Braxton Hicks with Autumn came in the last month, whereas this one, they've been coming all the time now. Um, what else has been going on? I feel like I am maybe starting to get to that line at my stomach, um, but I don't think so. With Autumn, I had a dark line from my underwear line all the way up to my ribs. Um, it was dark and it came early and it lasted even into postpartum with her. Um, and then this baby, there's been no line. As far as stretch marks, I've had no stretch marks. I had no stretch marks with Autumn either. Um, I do feel like my milk is gonna come in early this time. Um, with Autumn, she was born on a Sunday and my milk didn't come until Thursday, but I've just been so sore. They felt so heavy, they have just felt so full. Um, sometimes I feel that tingly let down feeling where I feel like I'm just going to start leaking but obviously not because there's no milk there yet but I just I think that's going to happen um, fairly quicker so I mean that's good I do want to be successful with nursing so hopefully that happens um, my next doctor's appointment isn't until 35 weeks so I have three more weeks to go and I just really want to hear the heartbeat again and I'd really like to have another ultrasound just to get a sneak peek of baby since we don't know what we're having but um yeah, I won't be getting any more ultrasounds unless I go over my due date and then I will need a fetal assessment. But yeah, I just have to wait till he or she is born. Um, I'm starting to lose my confidence that it's a boy. Not that I think it's a girl, but I just really have no idea. It could go either way. And um, our names are picked though, first and middle. And I'm really excited about both names. So that um, makes me feel... Yeah, good about whatever we have. Some days if I like a certain name more, then that's the gender I want to have. But for the most part, I really think it'd be neat for Autumn to have a little sister and to have two little blonde girls running around. But I also want my boy to have one of each and it takes the pressure off that if we can never have a third child, that we do have a boy and a girl. So either way would be good. Um, yeah, but that's basically how I've been feeling. A little update for you. I've got more coming. I'm going to be filming a what's in my diaper bag soon and posting it and I kind of just want to stockpile a few videos that I can just upload when I want to upload them just so that um, I don't have to worry about filming that that'll be done. Um, yeah so I will go ahead and show you my belly now. Um, yeah we're downstairs in my basement because it's been really windy out today and it's a Sunday afternoon and my neighbors are in their yards and I don't really want to them to have to listen to me vlogging and especially because I've started this vlog over six times already and that would have been just kind of embarrassing or annoying or I just and was too insecure to sit out there and film. <laughs> so I filmed in my basement. This is the video. Um, might do some more down here because it's comfy on the couch. We don't have AC so being in the basement is definitely the coolest place to be right now at 32 weeks pregnant. So yeah I'll show you my belly and then we'll talk to you later. Okay bye guys. Okay, there it is, 32 weeks. Like I said, no line, no stretch marks. I can tell my back is a lot more square. It doesn't go in and out like an hourglass anymore. So definitely putting more weight on in my back. And that's it. Hopefully we'll see you again before the baby's born. I'll definitely be making more videos. Okay.